Carson Kresler. Yeah. Oh. 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 Sit down. <laughs> Is, is that a bit oh. noisy for you to this, today? And, you know, I'm barely alive. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. I have my buck, I'm water. Right here. The only moisture that's been in my body for the last two days has been Red Bull and vodka. So, uh, but it's been so fun. Uh, I loved being here, and we had a great Mardi Gras. It's still happening, yeah. but last night was tremendous. How was your night? Like, how, how messy did it get? Oh, gosh. Um, I can't really talk about it on national television. <laughs> um, not as messy as unwashed sheets for nine months. <laughs> But um, there we are, me and my friend Andy and my friend uh, Heston, and we were just, um, went to the parade, and of course we took an Uber, and we were on the wrong side of the street. Yeah. Okay, which is, that's a, that's a fail. Um, so we had to walk all the way. I was like, where can we cross the street? And they're like, at the footbridge. And I was like, well, that sounds romantic and medieval, <laughs> but how far away is that? And they're like, it's like a mile. Yeah. So we did the long circular footbridge. It's not like just a stairway. No, it's like a loop. Mm. Did that thing, came back through the crowd, watched the parade, was amazing. I saw the prime minister. Mm. And there was a lady in a sparkly coat just like mine. And I was like, oh, she is stealing my look. <laughs> she was, but I was more transfixed on her than the prime minister. And then um, I thought I probably shouldn't go to the after party because I have a lot of other things going on, but like, a couple of the cocktails kicked in, and it was like, oh, it's only 10.30. Of course I can go dance for nine or 10 hours. <laughs> I'm just now getting feeling back in my legs. <laughs> uh, but it's a great time, and the party was phenomenal and very, very fun. Hey, Carson, speaking of the um, Prime Minister, because he was actually on our show a little earlier, and oh. I, I, I gave him a bit of grief about his outfit because, you know, I it, think he was wearing just a grey shirt. It was a little bland, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's, there he is. There he is there. That, that's, that's going him. to the grocery store. That's <laughs> Uh, there's the lady in the sparkly jacket, though. Oh, that's Jody, his partner. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, Jody, get working on the PM. <laughs> I'll send you this shirt, okay, for next year. Um, moving on to your time uh, on Queer Eye. Um, yes. I can't believe this. You only came out days before the show went to where to your parents. Is that I right? did. Yeah. I don't think it was a big shock. Everybody. <laughs> Oh, you're gay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> still, look at me. I'm for a lot of young people, right? Yeah, I mean, coming out is a very stressful process. And, you know, I was a very, very gay person. Uh, but it's still hard having that conversation with, you know, people that are very close to you. Everybody has their own timeline. I happen to be doing a reality show, there we are, and literally, like, the TV guide was coming out with, like, the name of the show, and I was like, oh, I've got to have the official sit-down. Uh, you know, so it was a, it was a tad late. And, and how did it go? What did your parents say? They were like, okay, thanks for the news flash. <laughs> We, we kind of figured that out in the third grade. Um, so they were, they were fantastic. Um, obviously, Queer Eye was such a huge global sensation. It, the, the reboot, though, which has mm -hmm. also been huge. Um, yes. It's sort of very different. Um, yeah. Because I feel like they're very wholesome and they try to be very kind. And I feel like was your I show not wholesome or kind? <laughs> Dare sass, you. you know, you're, yes. you're, do you ever feel like kind of sitting the new guys down being like, hey, this needs to be spicier, you know? Uh, you know, they do a great job. It definitely has a different, I think, um, a different vibe. Mm. And it's more um, maybe like, you know, uh, self-help, uplifting, less maybe uh, style driven. Mm. Um, but I think they do a great job. Um, and we're just naturally overly sassy. <laughs> you know? It's hard to be this sassy. Very diplomatic, very diplomatic. Could, could you. you do a queer eye for the straight guy on the, the only straight guy on the what? panel, oh, Michael on. Hughes? What? Yes. I mean, stand I, up, Michael. Let's well, do it. Looks okay. fantastic. I didn't, you. I didn't even think you were person. straight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Thank you so much. We call it just gay enough. <laughs> can still be into the ladies, but you look fantastic. Great, I so love your look. Thank you so much. And the glasses are great. Well, they're um, prescri pre prescription. So. <laughs> Stay calm. Keep breathing. 20 years ago, Queer Eye came out. I 20 had to years check ago. that because I was like, that can't be true. No, it's 20, 20 years, years and ago. two noses ago. <laughs> It's, yeah, unbelievable. I can't believe it's been that long. Do you seriously. think blokes have found their style besides Michael Hing? I think that, um, yeah, I think that when you give people permission 
um, to enjoy clothing and style and fashion. Um, people embrace it. It's fun. It's the way we can express ourselves. You don't take your car or your house um, with you everywhere you go. You take, you know, your clothes and your body and you mm -hmm. express yourself that way. Mm -hmm. So I think it can be really empowering and really fun. And I think more men have embraced it. Have you, Carson Cressley, ever had a sartorial faux pas? Is there an outfit you regret? <laughs> Oh yeah, I've had I've had many actually, and when you look at the old like press like actually the old press photo for the show, <laughs> I had like a mullet because I had flat ironed the front of my hair so much it fell off, um, and I was I, we wore some crazy stuff on the show. So yes, basically all of 2003. <laughs> you can catch Carson at the special 20 year queer eye anniversary celebration tomorrow morning. Check our website for the details. Would you please thank Carson Cressley? Yeah. <laughs>